coachable. We got to be coachable. Now, anybody who's coached sports or uh, a little league, you can relate to this. Uh, you got to be coachable. You can have a person with all of the talent in the world, but if they don't follow instructions, they don't listen, they're not coachable. Resilient leaders are coachable. Just because you're General Pletcher or General Pesha does not mean they're not coachable because iron sharpens iron. Good leaders always say, as my martial arts instructor would say, the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement. You, you and I, we have to keep growing. Just because I'm a colonel, that doesn't mean I know everything. Well, I know most of it. No, I'm joking. Uh, we have to keep growing. We have to keep improving as a chief or as a senior or a lieutenant colonel. It doesn't mean you know everything. So listen to, I love this first one though. They failed. A coachable person knows it's okay to fail. We're going to make mistakes. But you have to get up from the mistake and not keep doing the same thing over and over. Coachability is the willingness to be corrected and act on that correction. All right, next slide. Ah, here's another one of my favorite, General Hap Arnold. General Hap Arnold, I tell you what, another five-star general, he says this. He says, your limits are somewhere up there beyond, waiting for you to reach beyond infinity. What does that remind you of? Yeah, <laughs> Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear, to infinity and beyond. But it is true. It is true that, that we, you don't know what you're going to become. You don't know that you're going to replace Ms. Young. You might, you might be the one. You, I'm serious about this. You don't know if you're going to go to the next level. You don't know if you're going to become a senator, a representative, a big business owner. We don't know what our destinies are because our limits are somewhere up there. But you have to believe it. Have Arnold believed it. He was coachable. He was afraid of flying. Ha! Huh, you wouldn't know that. Hap Arnold, five-star general, was afraid to fly. In fact, when the Wright brothers trained him, he was one of the first three rated pilots ever in the Air Force. Amazing story of rising up. Now, here's a guy who was afraid of flying, but he would go on to lead and create the world's most powerful Air Force. This is the one. Jets, Hap Arnold. Uh, global Reach, Hap Arnold. The Rand Studies, Hap Arnold. This is a guy, Arnold Air Force Base, Hap Arnold. This is a man who said, you know what? We need air power. Air superiority is what's going to make the difference in the world to come. And that's who we have here. But I love that quote. Your limits are somewhere up there. That means all of us in this room have potential. And that's what makes a resilient leader. Okay, it's seen the possible beyond the trouble or the challenges.